go. One EPDM rubber. Next process, cleaning the joint. So the joint of the pipeline is here. So we want to make sure this surface is lovely and clean. Next, we put rubber over the joint. So we seal pipe to pipe. We don't seal a joint. We seal pipe to a pipe which covers over the joint, which then allows the joint to flexibly move as all pipelines move underground. So if all goes well here, EPDM is a made to measure material. She's up. I think the DN here is about 600. So that's now in place. What we've then got to do, one stainless steel ring with two, two Schloss stuckers, or as the English say, H blocks. That's where our wedge will sit when these turn around the clock to about eight o'clock at this point. So, as this comes around, we go to here, usually about a millimeter thick. What we want to do with this is, as I talked about, the jacking points here, what we need to do, we need to stop this sharp point pointing into the seal. So we basically get the sling steel trim and put it across here. It stops the point loading. So I'll show you again with this thing. The hydraulic expander sits between these two blocks and it pushes the force out this way. Okay, so you're opening the ring to the pipe wall all the time. So, okay, so then, as we're expanding the ring, we're basically checking that the ring is sitting inside the little lip that we have for the seal, which is beautifully in. Pressure. Amex will send out various wedges. But I've slid the wedge between the gap now that's created by this expander growing up. Right, Stephen, if you release, and watch this now as he releases, see it's sat down. And then to finish the wedge, we want to hit it in the middle here because every wedge comes flat and obviously the pipe is round. And that just gives it a little bit of shape. So that's one ring in. Move to the next ring. 